What's up guys and let's talk about this tracer skin because it's actually a really big problem. So there's a couple of things that I want to talk about specifically with this tracer skin. But before I do that, uh, if you guys actually want to follow me and keep up with me and things like that, go follow me on Twitter. I'm actually starting to be a little bit more active on there so you guys will know when I post videos and all this other kind of stuff. So yeah, so usually there's this trend to put like the last mythic skin inside of which is tier 80. Some games is tier 100, you know, like Call of Duty, Fortnite. And I do have the tier 45 skin. I believe mentioned this before, but it's kind of like inflating the battle pass to where there could have been another skin right here. As you see, there's in 1045, it's in 1065, and then it's in tier 80. I mean, just look at the difference between tier 45 and tier 60. The bitch just gets a hood. You can see it just from right here, right? This is tier 45. This is tier 65, right? The only time when you get different color variations is where you fit, uh, physically hit tier 80. Be a little bit more okay with it if you got different color variations, you know, as you were going along and shit like that. But no, you, you just get a hood at tier 65. Really? You guys couldn't put anything else right there? You give us a fucking hood as a tier? I find it really disrespectful that they'll give us a literal tier, just a hood. A hood that they could have just added at tier 80. It's just ridiculous. She does get like this little like cape thing and a little bit more armor. But for the most part, it's just the fucking hood. And then at tier 80, we do get this. And I will say, this isn't that bad. But I don't know, man. Like as a mythic skin, you know, and for you guys to inflate the battle pass like this, it, it just blows my mind. I do know that they add like more voice lines and all this other kind of stuff to the skin itself. You know, there's a little bit more that's added to the skin. Sigma all, uh, changes to something different that he says, which is really cool, I thought. On video games, pay attention to detail, especially with like different skins. Uh, I know, always like that Junker Queen like says like some really cool stuff. Every, every Mythic skin, they, they, they say something pretty cool. And don't get me wrong, I'm never gonna play Tracer, but I'm just playing Tracer for this video, you feels me? So don't, don't get used to it. Don't get used to it, ever. I just honestly feel like that this tracer skin is a little bit more of a problem that we think because think about it okay it started off with three tiers they skipped they said fuck two tiers skip inflate it with two tiers we're just gonna inflate it with three and i'll be honest with you guys you don't think that they're gonna decide to add more to this wait what the fuck she has the skin but what you guys have to understand too is that this will become even more of a problem if we're just more accepting of this you know what i can see happening next okay they're like okay they're, they're they're okay with having three tiers taken away from the battle pass so that's three tiers that we don't have to do anymore obviously like technically you can say it was two tiers because you know tier 80 is always going to be the mythic skin and shit like that right so i guess you can technically say technically say that it's okay for them to do that because you know obviously the the eight, tier 80 skin is always going to be like that right but i can see them adding more stuff to the mythic skins and then being like okay now what we're gonna do is you can get the tier even earlier we'll let you get it at tier 20 you know the where you could buy up to the tiers and stuff like that we'll give it to tier 20 and then we'll we're gonna inflate the skin even more but we're just gonna add a little bit more to the mythic skin i'm gonna be able to just add a hood yeah you get the mythic skin a lot earlier i just don't understand how people don't see this as more of a problem I really don't care about getting a skin a little bit earlier i want to have an additional skin inside of the game besides you adding a little bitch ass hood yeah so i can just see them like inflating everything and making it a lot worse than what they already have activision is already greedy so they they really like to take advantage of a lot of the things that we'll let them do. I'm just hoping not to, hey, mark my words, just just watch. You know, save this video, whatever. I guarantee you they're gonna do it. But I am curious though, I do know that there is supposed to be another character coming to the game too, which I am like really excited about. Honestly, I really didn't care about this match like that until Doomfist started to kind of do too much and it's starting to piss me off a little bit. Jesus Christ, this match was annoying as fuck. All right, so I kind of just want to talk about this really quick. I know this was probably like a little weird switch right into it, um, but yeah, these were my ranked games with Mercy and for some some odd reason at first the clips that I was trying to gather they would really like low quality uh, the first video that I first first recorded it was in low quality so my first mercy gameplay just like completely bombed or whatever because the quality just looked like absolutely dog shit yeah, so um, I had did this two days ago uh, I was gonna upload this video two days ago I was gonna upload this video two days ago when I finished it it was late at night so I was just gonna wake up that morning and then just upload the video because I wanted to obviously show you guys what was going on but I'm going to play a smidge of the audio for you so you can hear exactly i'm gonna play it right here so you guys can hear exactly what went wrong my fans were on uh my front fan and then my back fan that's behind me uh they were both on because i don't have any ac in this room right now in other words there's no central air inside of the apartment which uh we're working on getting the ac inside of this room and that's why my bedroom is actually in the front because it's so hot in here it gets so hot 
that you're you would literally be sweating the entire time you're sleeping in here it sucks because i would like to be in here a lot more often but i have to kind of just like leave a lot more because like it gets so dangerously hot in here literally it'd damn near be like 80 90 degrees in here like while you're just like chilling and shit like that which is obviously like not very good right i wanted to show you guys um a lot of the mercy gameplays and shit like that uh, i do know there's a lot of abundant issues going on with overwatch right now now that i'm not physically sitting here typing on my keyboard and talking because sometimes i talk i'm trying to play at the same time and i get like lost in thought uh, or i get like lost in playing a game or whatever but um yeah so with the tracer skin what i was trying to say just like while some mercy gameplay is playing in the background uh what i was trying to say is that I feel like they're going to add a lot more bs than what we think that they're going to do and i can just see them taking three tiers or two tiers and i can see them taking that and kind of running with that and even maybe add it to four or five tiers like, let's say we get a reaper skin let's just say that he gets one with an uncloaked hood, one with the hood or something like that. Maybe his guns change a different color, red, blue, green, black, whatever the fuck. So let's just say he has five different variations. Well, they can add the five different variations in five different slots in the battle pass. Nothing necessarily wrong with them adding more to the skin. And I, and I don't want people to think that I'm saying that it's a problem that they're adding more to the skin because it isn't. It's a good thing that they're deciding to do more with the mythic skins and shit like that. And I think that's perfectly okay. But the problem kind of in when they decide hey we're gonna add more to these mythic skins like although we're gonna add more to the mythic skins we're going to inflate them so they're not doing it for a good reason it's not to you know add more and be more for their consumers which is us you know people that's buying the skins that's buying the battle pass and things like that. So the battle pass is already what 10 20 bucks to begin with which is not really expensive 20 bucks isn't that hard to come by especially if you're working a job and i just kind of find it a little bit shitty i never really liked the battle pass system to begin with fortnite even introduced it i will say i did like it when fortnite introduced it because it was a lot of shit that came with it you know it was a free game you know battle pass was nice you know so of course like we liked it when it first got introduced because it took away loot boxes but now it was something that you were guaranteed to get besides something that's like oh yeah you might get it you might get this gold skin i think overwatch just have just a bunch of underlying issues i think that this game kind of needs a little bit of guidance i wish they would listen to the community more um i do love this community as toxic as it is but i just think that this game needs uh you know more guidance uh you know maybe activision needs to fucking hop off I think that um you know a lot of these these bigger uh, YouTubers um, are not really gonna say anything because a lot of them are maybe sponsored by Activision. They have a sponsorship with them, and you know they can only really say so much about the game. They have to be careful about what they do and what they say and all this other stuff. You know, you guys gotta understand that about these contracts and all this other kind of stuff. You know, there's only a certain amount of things that these people can really do or say. You feel me? Obviously, if you had a sponsor with Coca-Cola, you're not gonna speak bad about Coca-Cola. That's your money. That's your bread and butter. So you know, I'm able to freely speak about whatever the hell I want because I'm not sponsored with the company. I'm not like, you know, in depth with this company or anything like that. So yeah, I think it is a problem. You know, make sure to leave a like on a video and things like that. Uh, show some love because it really does help me make more videos like this. And I think we need to bring more attention uh, just to the BS that Overwatch is doing, you know, even charging $15 for the PVE. And I know people were saying that, well, they never said that it was gonna be free. I understand that. And I understand that Overwatch has to make their money somehow, but a lot of people buy these skins. They make a lot of money. Hell, bitch, they make a lot of money off of me. I spend a lot of money on these damn skins so i know that if i'm spending a bunch of money on this game i know a bunch of other people are doing the exact same thing that i'm doing in other words i just hope that a lot of these things get fixed um i do love this game i hope that this shit gets fixed i am gonna be playing uh more than rock a blade point uh on video and things like that i'm probably gonna have a video in the coming days so i do have a bunch of clips on the rock a blade point yeah i'm gonna be having a video coming out soon on that really good game uh if you guys haven't tried it i think it's free on xbox if i'm not mistaken i don't quote me though but yeah so go ahead and go try it out um you know if yeah, i want to know if you guys are still playing overwatch how you guys feel about this whole battle pass thing i know i talked about it in a previous video but i think i just need to be a little bit more in depth about what i was saying uh so yeah hopefully you guys enjoy this thank you guys for tuning into the last part of the video and um yeah, I, I kind of went crazy at this last part. Not even gonna cap. I just pulled pistol. I know you guys hate when I pull pistol, but I had to, man. I had to go crazy on these people. Like, you know, I, I gotta do what I gotta do. You feel me? All right, see you guys later. Like a little thing, um, you guys, like I said, uh, make sure to go follow me on Twitter and everything because I am going to be posting uh, my videos like whenever they go live so you can be the first to view it. I'm thinking of doing a giveaway at 4,000. Maybe I'll give away like 100 bucks or something like that. I'm not sure yet, but I do want to do a giveaway. Uh, let me know what you guys want me to do for my 4,000 
5,000 subscriber mark. We're approaching very, very, very close right now. Uh, I think we're at like 3,000 and like uh, 692, I think. So we got like 300 or no, 400 more. So I, I don't know. I don't really care. I can't do math right now. Anyway, I'll see you guys later or whatever. Shit.